Hello, welcome to the wonderful world of click and play. During the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create your own game just using the simple but extremely powerful tools that come with click and play. I'll show you how to select the backdrop from the many that are available to you, covering a wide variety of different locations you can use for your games. How to introduce into the scene the different characters that will play your game, and how to bring them to life. And then I'll also show you how you can create your own unique characters with Click and Play's ready-to-use drawing and painting tools. And we can see how you can use photographs of your own family, your friends, your pets, and make them into stars of a personal game movie that you want to play again and again. But this is only scratching the surface of the many possibilities that come with Click and Play. You'll soon be so quick at creating a simple game that you want to delve much further into the heart of click and play and discover even more ways of harnessing the incredible power of this remarkable program. You'll be able to produce your own complex, sophisticated and multi-level games similar to the ones that you usually buy for your PC. Until now, creating a game meant writing miles of complicated code using a language that only an experienced programmer can understand. It looks something like this. But while those professional games took many months to write using complicated computer programming, you'll be able to turn them out in a fraction of the time and without knowing the first thing about conventional programming techniques. Who knows? With click and play, you might even create a game that's so original it'll stand comparison with the best computer games and join classics like Pac-Man and Tetris that over the years have become milestones in the history of computer gaming. The demand for games is increasing all the time. And many PC users like you have found there's lots of money to be made by taking up this fascinating hobby. So, if you come up with an idea for an original and addictive game, click and play could well be your passport to a fortune. But however you use click and play, I know you'll have lots and lots of fun. So, happy game creating. But now, let's create a simple game using click and play. And remember, all you need to use is your mouse. First, Click on the menu item, Create a Game. This takes you to the Storyboard Editor. Double click and choose Level Editor. Now what you see now is the main screen. Now we have to open the library. Across the top of the screen you'll now see a collection of different objects and backgrounds you can use in this game. Let's click on one background with the mouse and drag it into the playfield. Well, we're now going to create our own version of the classic breakout game. In the original game, you had a bat, a ball, and a wall of bricks you had to destroy. We're going to make ours much more interesting. For the bat, we're going to use a boy on a skateboard. Select him with your mouse, and drag him to the bottom of the screen, and position him on the plank. You see, he's already raring to go. And now we need a ball. Select that with your mouse and position it just above the boy. And finally, let's take our bricks, except that instead of bricks, we'll use some toy soldiers and spinning tops. Place them on the shelves like this. You've now created the scenery and put your actors on the stage. And now, let's see some action. But first, let's decide what we're going to do with our soldiers. They look quite impatient, so let's teach them how to march. Click on the first one with the right mouse button, and you'll see a pop-up menu. Now, click on Movement, and this reveals a sub-menu. Now, click on Select Movement. As you can see, you're given a choice of many different movements. Select Path Movement. This enables you to draw a line on the screen. Now, we can tell him where we want him to march. Click on New Line. A line appears between your soldier and the cursor. Position the cursor to where you want the soldier to march, and then click to complete the path. You can now click on Try Movement to see if the soldier will do what you want him to do. 
Yeah, it worked. Uh, but as he's a soldier, we want him to march up and down. Press the stop button and then click on the reverse icon. Click again on try movement to see what he does. Well, he marches all right, but then he stops and marks time. So press stop button again and then click on the loop icon and then it's back to try movement. Yeah, and now he's marching just as we wanted him to. Well, it's almost time to start playing our game. Press the stop button and then click on OK. Let's click on the go to button and choose step through the game. Oops, it stopped. And the reason it stopped is because the ball has collided with the boy. You're asked if you want to do something about it. To say yes, click on the picture of the ball and tell it to bounce whenever it hits the boy. You can also tell it you would like it to make a sound. Now, there are many hundreds to choose from. Let's pick, say, uh, an ouch sound. Try it. And then it's back to the game. Uh, no, another hold up. This time the ball has hit a soldier. What should we do now? Well, exactly the same procedure, but this time we'll tell it to destroy the soldier and at the same time give an agonized cry. And that's really all there is to creating a simple game and all in just a few minutes. Well, I've just shown you in a few short minutes how to get started in Click and Play. These simple instructions are really all you need to know how to create a playable game using any of the large numbers of objects in the libraries or simply creating your own. The more games you make, the more complex ones you'll want to try. And as you practice, you'll find more and more about the hidden power that lies at the very heart of Click and Play. By harnessing this marvellous powerhouse, there'll be no limit to what you can achieve. You'll learn how to use the event editor, which is a graphical spreadsheet that lists every single event that makes up a game and is incredibly simple to manipulate in any way you like. you use the storyboard editor, which shows all the different levels you want your game to contain and is as easy to use as everything else in Click and Play. After you've created your game, you'll want to save it onto your hard disk so that you can play it again and again, or, indeed, save it onto a floppy disk to pass on to your friends. Now this opens up to you the big wide world of computer gaming which is expanding all the time. And when you get to the stage of producing a game which you feel is of commercial quality that lots of other people will want to play, then I suggest that you seek professional advice on how to market it. And a first step should be a call to Europress Software on 0625 85 9333 where you'll be put in touch with someone who will be able to give you practical advice on what you should do next. Uh, one last thought. If you haven't already sent in your click and play registration card, do it now. By doing so, we'll be able to keep you informed about the many exciting new developments now underway that will considerably expand the click and play family. And you'll be able to call us for expert telephone advice if you experience any problems in learning the finer points of click and play. But from now on, all you need to do is click and play.